Now, long line of queues have resurfaced at petrol stations in some parts of Lagos and Ogun State, as some marketers showed gates against motorists. Few queues were noticed at Aja, Leki, and Victoria Island axis of Lagos State since Sunday evening and has persisted. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, the NNPC, had earlier told Nigerians not to panic, assuring that it has sufficient petrol stock to meet their needs. The situation has started to spread to the mainland areas of Lagos, while the same situation was noticed in Songwater, Mui, Ibafu, and Awekbu, axis along the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. As of yesterday, I came here to buy fuel, but there was no queue. You understand? Well, we're still using the 40 this very time now. So I was surprised to see that everywhere is high global. What is happening now? Today there's no fuel, and that they brought some fuel last time. It was mixed with water. You understand? They started to return the fuel back. I don't really know. We're just here waiting, maybe. Well, I just saw one truck now, just enter here. I just hope maybe we can get fuel. I came here since I land at uh, 10 o'clock to get fuel, but. I couldn't because even passengers they are very stranded to, to see bus to enter. And the price that we were carrying before is not like that. From this Obalindi to to Via was two hundred, but now it's three hundred. So I don't think how people are going to feel where, where they wanted to close for their working during their working hours. The way this country is going now, maybe people will be trekking from VI to Yanoworo. Because the way things are really going concerning this fuel uh, scarcity now. Look at now, just this morning when I woke up, I left my house past uh, 5 to 6. Getting to the Tomilan Bridge, from the middle of Tomilan, the, the traffic started from NMPC, the one around there, that's Awulowo Road, to Tomilan Bridge. Getting here now, no fuel. Where are we going in this country? There is nothing we can do in this country without this fuel of a thing. And I think it's best the government look into it as fast as possible because it's going to ruin a lot of things. A lot of companies and personal uh, uh, businesses too. So they need to really do something fast because I think everything we are doing in this country runs has to do with fuel. So it's, it's, it's on the government to, to do something fast about it. Make everybody frustrated. Look at more than two or three hours now I'm here queuing because I want to get fuel. A big movement not going on where I'm supposed to go back to office now, but because of this stress, we are unable to do that now. So I advise then to government to take a proper look at what is happening in the country. Now joining us this time around to discuss the issues bordering on a less fuel scarcity in Lagos State is the Zono Chairman of the Nigerian Union of Petroleum and Natural Gas Workers, Nepang, here in Lagos, Tayo Aboyeji. Many thanks for joining us on the news now. Good evening. Thank you for having me. All right, Tayo, there's been noticeable queues at some petrol stations in Lagos and Ogun State and even in Abuja. It has been a while Nigerians saw such. What do we need to know? I, I, I can only tell you that uh, there is enough fuel for the in the depot for the depot for the tankers to load, and the tankers have been load. I mean, they have been loading this truck, this uh, product. I don't know why the people are, are why they are not queue here and there. But as a member of the our members of the tanker driver are loading. This product from the depot. So why the rescue? I don't know. Maybe the the, the first station are not dispensing or not or not, uh, or yeah. But I can confirm to you that we are loading from the depot. So Tayo, if I got you correctly, it's not an issue of um, availability right now. It might be some issue of uh, maybe sharp sharp practices on uh, maybe on the part of um, marketers. Well, I, I, I cannot confirm that. That has to be investigated. But what I can confirm to you is that the petroleum tanker drivers are not the, and the product are available in the depot. But right now, like you can see, I'm sure you uh, you drove past a major street or road uh, 
in Lagos today, and I'm, you, and I'm sure you saw the, the cues that have resurfaced at this particular time now. So what should um, the average um, Lagosian or people in Ogun State who are actually suffering the same fate, what should they be doing right now? Well, maybe, maybe in, the next, in, the, in the next couple of hours, the, with respect, the, 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 the associations are responsible, the marketers, and our, our implement that are responsible for the presence of this place, the white, there are queues in the station. But as far as the petrol of car drivers, the products have been loaded from the depot. All right, thank you so much. We have been speaking with Tai Aboyeji. He is uh, the chairman of Nopen here in Lagos. Thanks for your thoughts and your contribution on the news now. We do appreciate that. Thanks for having me. You know. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.